There's a spirit that wants to sleep with you every day. Yes, true. Are you hearing me? Yes. And this spirit is, is just affected your private. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Because I'm seeing sometimes when you're going to a period, it's like this blood is changing color. Yes. Huh? yes. Can you speak? Yes, oh. sometimes it's dark in color, sometimes it's very light. Are you hearing me? So now, this is the spirit to stop. Every man that comes to you, they lose interest. Are you hearing me? Yes. So let's pray that this barrier, this cage that the devil has put in must, must leave you. Come out! Come out! Come out, you demon! You can continue. Uh, my name is Tavi, so I come from Malamulele. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, the prophecy I received today is very true because sometimes when I see my periods, I, uh, sometimes it's, the, the, it's very dark in color and sometimes it's very light, like it's mixed with water. And it just it changes according to each and every month. Yes, sometimes this month is dark, next month it's light. Yes, so it's true. Everything he said, it's true. And did you try to go to the doctor to find out what's making your menstruation to change like that? Yes, I did go to the doctor. They said uh, they don't see a problem with me. Everything is fine when they check. And how was this affecting you? Yeah, it's affecting me because uh, the prophet mentioned the, f the, the problem of men uh, losing interest in me because I don't last with anyone, everyone that I involve myself with they lose interest in me and they just leave me yes and when he located you today and told you about your challenge how did you feel no i feel great because it's something that i didn't understand so i'm happy now that i'm delivered and what is it that you believe god is going to do for you now i believe now i'm gonna everything will be fine i'm gonna meet the right person no more uh, meeting the people that will run away from me because the problem now it's gone. Yes. They say, I don't know, did you stay in my way? Huh? You're close to my way. Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm close seeing to my that way. God will bless you. You'll move from this place to Amen. another one. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you know me? Yes. You'll move yes. very soon. Thank Greetings in the name of Jesus. My name is Toby Lebila. I come from Four Ways. I stay in Four Ways. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, the prophet told me about my boy, which is true. I used to stay in my boy in 2015. Um, and I used to stay close to my boy, which is in Clipfontaine, which is two minutes drive from my boy. And they also told me about that um, where I'm staying, I will also move again, which is true, very true, because we were discussing this with my husband, and we were speaking about how we wanted now to move to another property. And how do you feel that today you were located about something that you've been planning on doing? Um, I feel very relieved. It makes me further know more that God is aware of everything and is aware of our plans and our desires and what we are thinking as the word says that Jesus knew what they were thinking even before they said it. I believe that because of that, yes, I believe that God is aware of everything and I feel very happy and light and I believe that it indeed it will truly happen. We'll move to another property in Jesus' name. Amen. The issue of your wife, eh? you must not be worried about it. Yes, sir. Oh, you know me? Yes, sir. This issue of on and off. Yes. On and off, on and off, on and off. Yes. So I'm telling you that today God will fight for you. Amen. Oh, you know me? Amen. Because this is the problem that, this is the demon that fought you in the past. Yes. Now it's like it's coming back with another vision. Yes. So, yes. but God will fight for you. <laughs> You're free. My name is Eric Mangaliso. I come 
from Tembisa. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? The prophecy I received today, it was about my wife being on, a, being on and off, which I confirmed true because uh, she's at the hospital and uh, sometimes they discharge there and then the next day she'll be admitted to the hospital. And as a husband, as a husband, how was this affecting you? It was affecting me because it's very sad to see your wife being in pain. So I was wishing, like, uh, I wish God can take away the pain from me and give it to me. It would be better if I carry the pain. Yes. And today when they located you about the problem of your wife, how did you feel? I felt very blessed uh, knowing that God is aware of our situation and he cares for us and he has the solution of our problems. And what is it that you believe God is going to do uh, to, for your wife and for you as well since he located your wife through you? I believe she is healed, delivered, and uh, we will find uh, peace and happiness. We will enjoy our marriage. God wants to give you money. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because you've been praying about it. Yes, it's true. Huh? Yes, it's true. You've been praying, but the, your dreams, yes. the attacks. Yes, it's huh? true. Yes, it's true. I'm seeing, it's like you're dreaming. Sometimes these people even try to chase you. Yes, it's true. Are you hearing me? Yes. So, but this spirit will leave you today. Come out. Come out. You're free. You're... My name is Lighton. I come from Tembisa. And I was given a prophet by Prophet Andres. He said, uh, God wants to give me money. And I've been praying for God to give me money. And yes, it's true. And he said also there are attacks which are coming, especially in my dreams. Yes, it's true. There are people who are coming to attack me in my dreams. Sometimes I see them, but at the end they fail. And how was this affecting you? I was, being, I was praying about this issue of, of money and I could hear that uh, there's money which is coming to me but to my surprise it was not coming so I was asking myself questions why this money is not coming so today I, I now know the, 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 the problem behind this thing and now that they've prayed for you how are you feeling and what are you believing God for right now when they prayed for me I'm feeling blessed and I know my testimony has come. I shall come and testify the goodness of the Lord. Amen. My sister. Yes. When you sleep, you must pray, yeah? Because there are people that are trying to come and take you. You are right. Oh, you hear me? Yes. And these people, what they want to do on you is not good. Huh? So it's like now, to me, when I look at you, Oh, are you hearing me? Yes. I'm saying when you sleep, the, these people want to come and take you. Yeah. Oh? You don't dream yourself in the water. Oh? Mm. Oh? You are saying what? Mm. What are you doing? Who told you to come? Huh? What are you doing? I'm Molima Shinzi from Grand Farm at Malamulele, Limpopo. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? I received a prophecy of when I slept, there's someone or somebody that came and fetched me. I don't know where am I going with them. So, and tell me i supposed to pray each and every night. Yes. Who were you praying? I was praying, but not at all because now I got a job for night shift. Yes. And how was this affecting your life? Yes, it was affecting me because sometimes I become angry with 
no reason. Yes, sometimes uh, it's, it's worse. Yes. And now that they've prayed for you, how are yes. you feeling? Now, before he prayed for me, I have a headache. So after praying me, the headache was gone. So now I feel free. Yes. And what are you believing God for now that you've received deliverance? I believe that can, God can give you if you are truly love him and truly worship him and be free. If you want something, you, can, you, you are supposed to say it and pray for it. You can get it. Yes. Accident. Okay, accident. Oh, yes. You must pray against what? Accident. Accident. Yes. Because there are people that are just dying mysteriously in your family. Yes. Oh, you remember? Yes. These people they just die when you want to ask what happened, you don't even know. Yeah, oh, that's, you that's true. So this is a spirit of death that is following you people, but it's cancelled. I'm Stephen Musred. I come from Heidelberg. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, the, man, the man of God, uh, Prophet Andres, uh, uh, prophes prophesied to me two prophecies. First one, he, he talked about Shai is Zen. The second one, he is talking about uh, mysterious death in the family, which is confirmed is true. Last, last, on June, while, while I was on my way to Venda, my car uh, nearly got extended. The front wheel of my car came out of the, the, the car. So, uh, but I am able, uh, able to manage, God helped me to uh, able to manage the car. I pull off the road and I put the speed wheel, then I drive until home. So on uh, another prophecy of mysterious death, I confirm on 2017, I lost my mother. Within a week, I lost my, my, my uncle. So that's, that's death. To me, it was mysterious, something which I tried to ask what's happened, what, what's going wrong with the female, which I confirm is true. And how was it affecting you? No, it affected me because sometimes it, there's something that in life you ask yourself and you don't have an answer for that. So today I'm, I'm happy because he, he told me it's a spirit of death. So which want to kill another one in the family, which means maybe I was the one who's supposed to follow. But I believe today the case, that case has been broken. Yes. And now what is it that you believe God will do for you as you were located not only for yourself but for your family as well? And I believe that uh, there will be no more mysterious deaths in the family. People will live their life to the full, the way God created them. I believe that case of spirit of death is broken in the family. And I'm happy for that. Yeah. Mama, this your family. We need to pray for your family. Yes. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. You're starting from children. Yes. Everyone is under attack. Jesus, I've got pictures huh? here with me. You've Are got you, what? I've got pictures here with me. I'm saying I'm everyone it. in your family is under attack. Yes, Papa, I believe that. You understand what I'm going to tell you? Yes. So, and also these children. I'm just seeing children here. Yes. Huh? So you people, you need the grace. They also need the grace of following you to God. Thank you. Oh, you hear me? I'll do so, that. But let's cancel this spirit of sickness also. Yes. Oh, you hear me? Yes. Because you people, you get sick. Even you, you are sick. So, but God is healing you today. Amen. In Jesus' name. My name is Sipati Etting. I come from Midrand. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? The prophecy that I got from was right. I've been suspecting something is not right with my children. And he, he proved that there is an attack in my family and they must also give their lives to Jesus and it's true that they haven't given their lives, all of them, to Jesus.
And again, he told me that I'm also sick, but today I'm healed. And how were these problems affecting you? It just now, it's even after this confession, it has made it even more worse for me now that I have to pray harder than before. Yes. And now that they've prayed for you, how are you feeling? I'm feeling fine. Even Mama did pray for me last Sunday. I was fine. But I was still going to go for the test to be sure because we need the proof. Yes. And what is it that you believe God is going to do for you and your children? A lot of blessings. A lot of breakthrough in their lives, in their work, in their health as well. There's a lady called Lucy. 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 Stand up. There's a lady there. My sister, God is healing you. God is healing you. I went out to me when I little Macanani, Salitomil. I'm three, Sally Tomil, a man. Ho. Why, why, Han? Why? Because I can't come on Molayan. Oh, hey, Andres, when I started, I want to kill. What's up, Andres, Limacanani? Andres and Macanani, like a son, I gave them all deal. I'm coming from Whitbank, Ochispola. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yeah, I confirm it because uh, I was sick so many years. So a uh, prophet told me that, uh, called me by my name and say Lucy. And that, uh, that name is my name. I'm Lucy. And uh, he told me that uh, you are healed. And I believe that well, I'm healed already. Yes, I'm healed. And how was this affecting you? Uh, he was affecting my life. So I, I don't know, but he was affecting my life. I was worried about this sickness. And now that they've prayed for you, what is it? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm healed. I'm totally healed. And I thank God for that. Yes, and I thank God to locate me by my name, say Lucy. I thank you. I thank Jesus for what he has done to me. And I was praying that God today, uh, I'm asking to locate me and uh, my God do it. Yes. I thank the Lord so much. Yes. There's business. Oh, you know me? There's business. Huh? But... There are people that are also trying to compete you. Are you hearing me? Yes. Huh? Yes. So I want to pray for you because it's doing like this. Mm. Hmm? Yeah. It's doing like this. So God will help you and whoever that is trying to compete you. Thank you. Mama, whoever that is trying to fight you, God will fight for you. Amen. Because I'm seeing the business that you have done. Other people are also trying to do it. Amen. Huh? And very close to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are blessed. I am blessed. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Uh, what the man of God has said, it is true. I'm having a business. My business is going up and down. Things are not going well. So what the man of God has said, it is true. And for how long has this been happening? It's for a long time, more than 10 years. And how was it affecting you? 
Uh, it was affecting me because it was not prospering. Even my prayer life, it was going down because of my business. And when today they located you and told you about this challenge that you are going through, how did you feel? Uh, I feel very happy because the word of the Lord said, believe unto the word of the pro prophet, you shall prosper. So I believe that I will prosper from today. And what is it that you believe God is going to do in your life now that you have received the word of change and also your deliverance? I believe that God will heal my business, will heal my life, my spiritual life will go up. Amen. My brother, you must be careful. Huh? Devil is after your life. Oh, you hear me? Devil is what? Amen. It's after my life. The devil is after your life. And please, you need to check your movements. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. Otherwise, you know, people can end up making their own plans and you get arrested. Amen. Huh? Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. Were you not arrested before? No. So, please. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. Who are your friends? Uh, one is at Alex, the other uh, at Soweto because I'm uh, three months this side. You're three months this I'm, side? I'm staying this side, yeah, I'm three months. I want God to help you. Amen. You me? Amen. So that whatever the devil is playing against your life, it must not happen. Amen. You understand me? Amen. So please put your life straight. Amen. Put your life straight. Amen. My name is Isaac Makovele. I'm staying here at Tembisa, but I'm from Tanini. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? The uh, prophecy it says that uh, the devil is planning to put me in prison. Uh, I confirm it is true because yesterday even my mother called me that he told me that I'm the one who gave my brother a gun and I don't know anything about that and I never touched a gun since in my life. Yeah. And how did that affect you the fact that you were accused and so far i'm no longer sleeping i have a sleepless life and i fear most of the time at night yeah i confirm it true because i see also when i close my eyes i see too much darkness i can confirm it true that the devil want to put me in prison yeah and were you praying to god to help you yeah i pray each and every time and now that uh, the man of God located you and told you about this problem, how are you feeling? Yeah, now I'm feeling light because he told me that I'm supposed to stay away to my friends and put my life straight to God. So I, I'm ready to do it. I'm feeling free. Yeah. And what is it that you believe God is going to do for you? Oh, God is going to restore my life and God is going to transform my life and to change also my life and to deliver the rest of my family members. Whoever that will stop, want to stop you from buying a car, I reverse this problem. Because in your family, listen, hello, in your family, you people you compete a lot. That's true. Oh, you know what I mean? Yes. There's a lot of competition. Mm. Who's better, who's not better. True. Huh? True. So now, I want God to help you let these enemies, let them know that you are saving the living God. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. You will buy this car. Amen. You must go and submit an, your application this week. Amen. Because the, it's like you are applying, they are trying to deny it. Applying, listen. From today, these two weeks that are coming, they'll be very good for you. Amen. Come out. Hey, hey, Come out. Hey, hey, hey. Go on, go on. Hey. So, are you the one who's stopping this application? Hey, I want to give huh? so you a gift. I want to give you a gift. You call me. Hey. So, I want to give you a gift. Hey, you call me. Hey. 
that stomach. Do you have a church? My name is Levo and I'm staying in Midrand. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yeah, the man of God called me and he mentioned the issue of a car that I've been applying for a car and they're declining, which is true. I've been sending my applications. I've sent my application to Audi and to VW. And they've declined, and I didn't understand why. They told me about the score, which doesn't make sense, because when I checked my score, it was perfect. So, yeah. And how did that affect you? It affects me every day, because I work in Randbag, and taxes are just a no-no. I'm really tired of taking taxes, so that's why I decided to go to the garage. So this is really affecting me when I have to go to work and even come into church. Now I have to leave early because taxes are finishing, so yeah. And now that they've prayed for you and also located you, how are you feeling and what are you believing God for? Um, I'm very happy and I'm believing God that I will get my car. As the man of God has said that I must go and resubmit my application, I'm going to do that and I believe that this time they will approve it. You must pray against the spiritual husband. Eh? Amen. Are you ready, man? Yes. Huh? Yes, man of God. You must pray against what? Spiritual husband. Spiritual husband. Yes. What's that you must do? Eh? I pray against the spiritual husband. My name is Nelisa Abueng. I'm coming from Botswana. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? The man of God told me that I must pray against the spiritual husband. I can confirm the prophecy to be true because I have been having attacks in the dreams. I've been having it. I've been dreaming eating in the in the uh, eating during sleep and also. I've been experiencing conflicts in my marriage. And for how long has this been happening and how has it affecting your life? I'd say it's uh, maybe three months or so. 
like I said, uh, I was having, I was eating in the dreams and uh, basically I was not happy about it. And when the man of God located you today concerning this challenge, how did you feel? I was happy because that's the challenge that has brought me here. And what is it that you believe God has done for you? I believe God has delivered me. I also been advised to pray against the spiritual husband. So I'm really going to also pray against the spiritual husband. Amen. She disappeared long ago. So yes, now she disappeared. Mama, you've got. There's someone who wants to kill you with heart attack. Are you hearing me? Amen. There's someone who wants to kill you with heart attack because of this problem of this uh, this child. Oh, you remember? Amen. So you have been searching for this child, you never found her. Huh? I'm saying, where's your child? I don't know where she is. You don't she know where your child is? Yes. She's like she disappeared. Yes. Huh? Yes, seven That's, years now. Huh? Seven years. Seven years ago. Yes. My God. I want to pray for you. Amen. Let's believe that God will do a miracle. Amen. Jesus. Because sometimes in your mind you think she's dead. Yes. Huh? Yes. I think you think that people who have killed your child. Yes. Huh? Because when I was coming to you there, I had you end up having a problem. You know, a hard problem because you're always thinking about your child. Yes, it's true. Huh? It's true. In Jesus' mighty name. So, uh, how did you take this child? I know why. I how did you take care. this child? Huh? So, tell us, where, where, is, where did you put this child? I How did you take this child? Yeah. So, are you the one who has attacked this child? Yes. Huh? I yes. The child to just then, how? The how what, what is your mission? Do you want to kill this lady? Yes, I want to kill her. I hate her, man. You hate her? Yes. Who are you? Who are you? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Who are you? I don't know. 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 She must, come, she must come back this week. Huh? I want to see her dead. Come on! Come on! You demon! Stand up. Touch here. <laughs> My name is Solomon Kwanyana. I'm coming from Ivory Park. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? The man of God came to me and said, where, where are your children? In my mind came, mm, mm, 
I thought that maybe he's he's speaking about the child that uh, that disappeared. My daughter disappeared long ago, seven years now. We don't know where she is. It's true. The prophecy is true because I'm looking for my daughter. We don't know where she is. We try to search for her everywhere, but we don't find her. So it's true. The prophecy is true. And how did this affect you? And for how long has your child disappeared? It's seven years now. Seven years now. We don't know where she is. Even if we, we go away... We, we went everywhere to search for her, but we can't find her. And this thing worries me a lot. And how did it affect you? It affected me so much because I can't even sleep at night. Day and night I'm thinking about her. I think, uh, I, think she, uh, I don't know what to say. And now that they've prayed for you, how are you feeling? I'm happy because they say hope that my child is coming back home because even the, the man of God said she will come back home. I'm so happy because I was giving up. I was, I was losing hope. I was losing hope thinking that I will never see my child again because it's long time I'm, uh, we have been searching for her, me and, and, and her father. And now what is it do you believe God is going to do for you? as they've prayed for you. I'm so happy now. God is going to bring my daughter, my daughter back again, back home. I, 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 I'm so happy. I believe God will do it for me because I've been crying a lot.